Hello and welcome to Animated Pose Transfer with Posemaster for Dash Studio. In my scene I've loaded Genesis, that's the blue figure, and Victoria 4, that's the yellow figure. And I'm going to show you how to transfer an animated pose from V4 to Genesis. So the first thing we need to do, we open the timeline, we need to create an animation for V4. I'm going to move my scrubber to the first frame and then I'm going to choose a pose for Victoria 4. Let's choose the arms raised pose. Then I'm going to move the scrubber ahead to frame 10 and I'm going to choose another pose. Let's choose this fashion pose and finally I'm going to move to frame 20 and I'm going to select another pose. Let's look for the looking pose. Right, if I go back to the timeline, you can see we've posed Victoria 4. We've got key frames on frame 0, frame 10, and frame 20. And if we play the animation, that's what it looks like. You can also go you can also create these this animation by loading a BVH file or a PZ2 animated pose, or by loading an anti block and then converting it to or baking it to studio keyframes. At the end what we need is we need some keyframe poses on timeline, on the timeline for the source figure. I've taken the scrubber back to frame zero and now I'm going to select the target figure which is Genesis. And now we're ready to do the transfer. So I click on Pose Master Keyframe. I confirm my source and target figures are correct. Uh, I want to cover the full play range, so we're going from frame 0 to frame 30, as we could see on the timeline. I want to convert all three transforms, so position, rotation, and scale. Now, I'm transferring a file, uh, an animated pose, from Victoria 4 to Genesis, so Genesis is the target figure. So I'm selecting Genesis V40 pose. That's an offset to adjust Genesis for a V4 pose that has been transferred. And the skeleton map, I'm going to be choosing Genesis from V4. So that ensures that our pose is fully transferred from V4 to Genesis. If I choose convert all frames, then instead of only converting the keyframes and relying on the timeline keyframe interpolation to do the animation of Genesis, it's going to convert all 31 of the frames in the play range. So it'll convert frame 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 30. That would take longer, but it would give us a more precise conversion between keyframes. In this case, I'm not going to do all frames, I'm just going to convert the keyframes. And now I click accept. And we can now watch Posemaster converting the three keyframes. I'm going to fast forward this bit. When done, Posemaster tells us it's converted three keyframes. Let's go back to our timeline and we'll go back to the first frame. And here we can have a look at our conversion. We can see that's a pretty good conversion. Um, Genesis left shoulder probably needs to be brought down a little bit to fix that. Posemaster is sometimes not going to transfer pose 100% but it gives you a pretty good result. If you look at the rest of the figure that's a that's a 95% transfer I'd say. If we we might need to do some sm small adjustments when we've transferred a pose that's normal. It depends on the pose. Frame 10 let's have a look at that transfer. That pose has come across pretty well. The only areas where it's very very slightly off the head is slightly over to the right and the right hand is slightly out of place. But for the rest, that pose looks to be close on 100% transfer. Frame 20, let's have a look at that one. And we can see, again, we've got a pretty good transfer across there. Again, the left, the left collar of Genesis could come down a bit, and the right collar could go up a bit. Those are minor differences that are usually due to differences in the skeletons or differences in the, in the actual base figures. Right, when we're ready, um, let's play that animation and see how they transfer. 
and as you can see we've got a pretty good transfer of the animated pose right that's all and that's the end of this tutorial thank you